Alrighty, so hopefully that wasn't too hard. I think it was pretty quick. If you listened to our last lecture, you, you should have got it. Um, but we'll just walk you through it just in case. Here we go. So if you want to get every customer la every customer's last rental date, mm -hmm. we'll need to. Which tables do we need to use? Oh, first the skeleton. Oops. There we go. Boom. Um, dang. Brought to you by your friendly. Uh, type it for me. Type it for me. That's the right there. That's little a little guy. ad for them. They there he is. Type us. it for me. Yeah, just Good buy stuff. that thing. A little shortcut, and then boom, the skeleton is ready for you to go. All right. Anyways, here we go. Oops. Um, back to our main program. Sorry. <laughs> Always got to be uh, saving your items. All right, here we go. Okie dokes. So if you want every customer's last rental date, which tables do we need? We need the customer table, so that we'll see the, who it was. Yes. And then the rental table. That'll, that'll help tell us, us when, they, when rented. they rented it. Exactly. So what do we want from that information? Let's get their name, their full name. And Ooh. so we need to concatenate their first name, put in a little space in there, and then put their last name. And then let's title that as name. Next, we want their email address so that we can email these guys um, with a little like, hey, mm. you didn't purchase anything recently. Or, yeah. Yeah. Email us. Well, well, we'll email you, but you should come visit the site. Yep, exactly. Lastly, this is where we want um, their last rental date. And so we're gonna, this is where we use the max function to see which, which was the latest rental date for that user. Um, now we got to connect them, huh? Yeah. Shouldn't be too hard. Customer underscore ID equals C dot customer ID. Um, and then we will need to group by the customer ID. Yes. Because we want it per customer. Um, I think that should work, huh? Yep. I think you forgot to select there. What do you need? There you go. Oh, in my I got yeah, highlight. Oops. All right. Here we go. Let's run this bad boy. Ooh. Unknown column. First name. First underscore. underscore. They really like their underscores here. Boom, there we go. So we see each customer's last rental date. Um, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's very helpful. Um, email campaigns, it's it's really good to be able to segment by that by that metric. Um, yeah, so there is the first brain buster. Hope you got that one. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns about that one. Um, let's check out this revenue number. So what should we look at here? Okay, we're, we're only need one, we only need one table here. It's going to be a pretty simple one, payment P. Yeah. Uh, we don't even need the where in this class since oh, we're, we're not doing it. Yeah, we're going to do a group by. So oh, let's keep right. that in there. Um, okay. Okay. So we want we want it per month. So we're going to group by one. So uh, P payment time date. Payment date. Comma seven. So this is, um, this will give us the month. So if it's written out. There you go right there. On last. Exactly. So yeah. So we can look in here. Um, let's Look there. Just blow that up. Okay. So. I think we showed them. You guys, yeah. you guys know this, right? So there's the first four, five, six, seven. This is the number that it's going to return. Um, this is 2005, August of that year. And so it'll group by that um, as month. And then we will need to do the sum.p.amount. So that will just count up all the amounts in the payment table that fall under that month. Correct? Yes. All right, there we go. And we need to group by one. That should do it, right? That should do it. So paste that in there, run it. Boom, wow, it looks like uh, We really July. hit our peak in July, and then August dropped off a little bit, but they were by far our biggest months. Um, and it this is- a little hiatus until February. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's like a super simple way to use a group by to get some monthly numbers. Um, but it'll be really helpful for whatever business that you're looking into or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. data you're looking at. Yep. All so right. That's good work. It. The next lecture, we'll be talking about, uh, this thing called distinct. Um, and that's useful for determining like what percent of your customers are accounting for, what percent of your revenue. Um, yeah. For example, if we get a million dollars of revenue, um, but we only have five distinct, uh, purchasers from that month. Uh, it's it's great for the great to have that high revenue, but it's not really great for the health of the marketplace or the health of your business because if those five people stop buying next month, it's going to be really hard to hit your revenue. Um, yep. All right. So see you next time. See you around.